All right, and hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Violet Let's Play. If you guys missed out during the last episode, we went and taken our very first Elite Four type of challenge, which that was against with Rika. And now, guys, we're going to be going and battling out with Poppy next. Uh, we actually did get to go and see her for a little bit uh, during the main story, but now we get to finally go and challenge her once more. Uh, but here we go. Uh, now, I believe uh, right on after this is going to be happening is that we are going to be going and battling out with Larry as well, too, which I kind of is a little bit funny to me because, like, uh, it, it seems like he. He was just a gym leader, but now he's moving and transitioning over to an Elite Four member as well, too, which that's kind of weird. But however, Poppy is actually kind of the Steel type type of gym, uh, or, or Steel type of uh, Elite Four type of member out here. Uh, so I'm going to have Fireball out in front because I think we should be okay. Yes, but I did do all the healing that we can do. I think what I'm going to probably set up is, is I'm going to set up for a study day and then just hope and pray that Flamethrower just completely bodies almost everybody that's going to be in here. And we shouldn't really have too much of a hard time. Uh, now, I did actually go and do a little bit of some research on her team and it seems like main zone does have sturdy so even though that i may probably not get the the damage that i want to get um i don't think we're gonna probably knock out the main zone fast enough and it may probably knock it on talent flame which that's not too much of an issue because we'll have drado out here so if it keeps on going for like discharge or something uh so we'll have to go set for a sunny day first so we'll go and set that up so that works out well okay so now we'll get that going He's going to set up for a Heavy Slam. That's not going to do as much to me, but we will go and set up for a Flamethrower now. So let's go ahead and do that quickly. All right, there we go. Perfect. So we'll knock it on the Copper Jaw. So that's one type of Pokemon already bodied out of here. Uh, now here comes out the main zone. Now I don't know if I should probably switch out now or if I should probably just keep on staying in. I'm going to see if I can probably stay in and probably see if... Uh, what this main zone is gonna probably set up and try to do. Maybe I could probably go for a flame charge and just kind of slowly probably knock him down. There you go. Let's see how much that's gonna do. Okay, that did half. Okay, we're gonna raise up our speed a little bit. He's gonna set up for a light screen. Okay. Now, I don't think I have any type of special moves, so I think we should be fine, right? Because I think flamethrower is a physical, so we can go and set that up again. So there we go. So already done deal with main zone, so that's fine with me. So at least now we're a little bit faster than some of the other Pokemon that are here. All right, now we got ourselves the Corviknight. Okay, now this could be a little bit of a challenge because I don't know if this Corviknight's going to be a little bit faster than I am, but we'll have to see. It does have pressure though, so I think he may probably go first or something, right? No, I think I'm still going first. So that's fine. And ooh, okay, that's a little bit scary. And this man does have Burry Bird. Ouch. Okay, well. That was actually a little bit of a problem there. But at least he went and took some recoil damage. Huh. Okay. Now, one other Pokemon that I can't go and do is actually bring out on Mysterio. And probably just go and set up for a uh, for a Thunder Punch. Because I think that could be super effective too, right? So we'll just have to just go and set that up as quickly as we can. Alright, hopefully that does some damage. There we go. So that was super effective. Knock out of the Corviknight. That's mine. We'll just have to now go and uh, switch out to Drano and basically, re well, basically revive up on, uh, uh, on, uh, on Talon Flame here for the time being. Okay, so here we go. So let's switch around. So Brawlzok shouldn't really be all that too much of a scary Pokemon. Unless if it has, like, maybe Rock Blast or something, but I don't think we would really get injured all that too much. Unless if this Pokemon has at least, like, uh, some sort of, like, water typing move or something, but I think we should be okay. So let's go for a revive, bring up my Teleflame up there, and we should probably also go set for our Hyper as well too, the process. Zen Headbutt, that's going to probably hurt for some damage. Okay, so we'll have to go with Sacco Drano after this. So we'll just have to go for another one of these, and set up for a Hyper, and that should just bring out Teleflame once again. Alright, sorry Drano, but you do have to go and take a hit though, but... Hopefully that's not going to become uh, too much of a problem here in this in this Elite Four battle, but it should be okay. Now, I don't know if I already said this from uh, from before, uh, within like the first type of Elite Four battle that we went and faced off with, uh, but I did tell you guys that I will be splitting this uh, type of stuff into like several different parts, just so that I won't make it too long for all you guys uh, that are going to be checking in uh, with me actually going through the Elite Four. But we're going to go and set this up now. I don't know if this is going to do a lot of damage. Because I know that we don't have the sunny day up. But it does have rock blast. And hopefully it can only land out twice. Because. Oh uh, please. No. Okay. Woo. It only landed out twice. Thank God. Okay. That was going to be a little bit of a problem. If uh, 
if that was going to hit all three ties there. Okay. So now we are fine with that. And now we got ourselves with Ticketon. Now, I think what we should probably go and do is maybe just stay on in. Okay, so I'm not scared. My last book will turn things around. Yeah, so Ticketon is what? Fairy Steel, but it's going to probably get the Terra typing of Fire related. Or, 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 or maybe, uh, well, not Fire related, but maybe uh, probably uh, more uh, Steel type related. So we'll just have to go. No, not, not Terra Lies up on ourselves. Uh. We'll just have to go for a flame thrower, or probably heal up. Let's heal up first, because I don't know what this man's gonna probably do. I don't know what this ticket is gonna have. I don't know why I was thinking that I was gonna be having a fire terrorizing. That's not gonna probably happen. It's gonna probably have steel. Okay. Oh no! It's gonna be tearing up time. Oh god! Please don't have something that's gonna be too damage worthy. <laughs> I did heal up for this, because I know that I was going to probably at least kind of keep uh, around out here with, uh, with Talon Flame. It may probably have, like, Flash Cannon or something. Stone Edge, that's pretty rough, too. Ouch. Okay, that's annoying. Ugh. Well, that was going to become a problem. Uh, so let us go and bring out Dixie. We'll probably have to go and sack off Dixie, too, in the process, because I need to bring back Talon Flame. Okay, so I'll we'll have to do this revive up again. So now, now we actually have like two both like fairies out here. So uh, I know that it's gonna have like some sort of like steel type move. It's gonna pretty much win out here. Oh god, Gigaton Hammer! There it is. There's the steel type move. I think that's gonna knock me out here. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. Dang it, man. Okay, well, uh, oh wait, I thought I revived out, uh, Fireball. Okay, maybe I went and, uh, brought out Drano by accident. Uh, I don't think this was a good idea. But let's go and set up for another revive, and we'll bring out Talent Flame this time around. There we go. Uh, let's see, what are you gonna do? Play rough? That doesn't really do anything, so that's good. Uh, maybe... Would Earthquake do any type of damage onto you? Because you are Steel-type, right? So I don't know if that's going to do anything, but we'll have to see what could happen out here. Because it seems like Play Rough is not doing as much, so that's fine. Because it's not going for like a Gigaton Hammer or something. Ugh... I never faced a Tinkaton before, so this is going to be all new to me. Oh, yeah, that's gonna probably knock me out here. Yeah. Okay, well, that was just a waste of a terrorizing thing. Perfect. I should have just went and just literally healed up, not even go for a terrorizing. I'm just gonna make this more of a problem for me. Alright, let's break out Fireball again. Alright, Flamethrower, go do your thing. Beat this guy, destroy him out of here. Oh, uh, we're so close. No. Oh, this is aggravating, dude. We're so close there. I hate how the fact is that this guy has, like... I, I don't know. Could fly press work? We'll have to see. Because it is steel, and we do have a fire-type move. If Mysterio can do this, this would be perfect. Oh, so close, so close. Uh, that's going to probably hurt a little bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that was not good at all. Oh, I'll have to bring out Maryland. Okay, Maryland, you got this. I don't think... Uh, the one thing that I'm going to have probably a slight problem with is the fact that this man is going to have Gigaton Hammer and probably going to do a lot of damage to me. Well, this is just great. Okay, well, let's go and do it again. I knocked out the ticket ton, but I don't have anything. Uh, it just sucks that you can't, like, go and leave on out of here. There we go. We defeated Poppy. Man, that's just annoying. 
I should have like a revival herb or something. All right, well there you go. Uh, so I want to take revenge on you, Rika. I'm pretty sure they mean to take revenge for me, Squirt. Do you think you did anything wrong? I hate to say it, but you lost the poppy. Better call it for the next guy. Yeah, and I'm already dead. Uh, so we'll have to pretty much come back to this later. And I have to retake this again and actually have enough revives and a lot of other health afterwards. Yeah. Alright, how's it going, Larry? You can get me a game over if you want. I'm not even ready. I don't even have, like, any type of items to even literally do anything. Uh, yeah, I don't even have anything. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do, guys, is that I'm going to have to basically say that I have to go and get myself a little bit of a game over out here. And uh, I'll have to come back and literally get, uh, well, basically get some more money. Because how much money do I have right now? Because I should have a lot. Yeah, I have like 84000 But unfortunately, I think what's going to happen is, is that if I lose to Larry, I'm going to probably lose out like quite a bit more money. Uh, but I'll see you guys in the next one. And, uh, and, and, uh, and of course, peace.